And now your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. All right, good Monday evening to you, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Enjoyed the generally nice weather, you know, even for as cloudy as our Sunday wound up being. It certainly wasn't a bad day. Neither has been today. We did start the day off with a good amount of sunshine and even some blue skies here and there. So, you know, despite the very gray appearance right now, uh, we were treated to some of this earlier. Here's a great photo from Andrea Dubay Wheeland of the uh, blue skies poking through some of those increasing clouds. Looks like off toward the uh, southern sky there, but uh, yeah, beautiful nonetheless. Now we settle into a decidedly grayer slate of conditions tonight, and eventually those will be bringing some showers and storms to the mix late tonight and persisting at times on into tomorrow. So a live look over downtown Flint right now, where it looks a little bit uh, like some darker clouds are at least settling directly overhead. Tough to tell if there's a little bit of mist coming down here too, but that would be the absolute worst of the wet weather we will see throughout this evening. And all things considered, it's comfortable. 72 degrees the current temp, but the one key difference in the last 24 hours in particular has been the uptick in the humidity. Our dew point back to 66 in the vehicle city right now. Got an east wind coming in at nine miles per hour at least, but it's that returning humidity that will in part help to set the stage for this more soggy and at times stormy weather that we're again going to see over the uh, midweek period. And Cherry and Caro tonight report 72 degrees at her location. Got those same overcast skies and a light wind for the time being. And Cheryl Levitt in Bay City at 75 degrees, also locked in under those cloudy skies. But Despite all those clouds we see here on the first one five pinpoint Doppler radar tonight live from MBS. No major organized wet weather to track right now. That'll start to change though late this evening and into the overnight period as a warm front to our south, which we'll see right here on the first one five sky tracker starts to build its way up across the state. And yet again, third week in a row. <laughs> It's another slow moving frontal system that's just going to drape itself across the state for a few days to come here, fueling these periodic showers and thunderstorms, locking the warmth and humidity back into the mix. And also, of course, with that warm front coming on through, you can bank on the temperatures going up a little bit, but we're not talking 90s like we saw around this time last week. Hour by hour forecast in the meantime, aside from a sprinkle or two during the early evening hours, no major wet weather expected, just the continuation of the cloudy skies. We start to see some hints of some more substantial shower activity getting going around midnight, but I'll use substantial lightly for that time period. It'll just be more organized light showers at that time, but heading into first thing tomorrow morning, here's seven o'clock. It'll be hit or miss fashion again, but we'll start to see some more potent downpours here and there, maybe even some embedded rumbles of thunder. And then with a warm front draped overhead, adding the daytime heating to the equation tomorrow from midday on into the three o'clock hour and even into early tomorrow evening, those showers and other storms will only tend to become more numerous. So have the rain gear handy and of course be keeping a watchful eye on the skies. Also similar to last week, while I think a lot of us over the next 24 hours stand to pick up anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rainfall, heavier showers and passing thunderstorms could certainly put down a quick inch or more of some rain. For tonight, 66 the overnight low temp, mostly cloudy with overnight thunderstorms. And you know, if you haven't already done so, I think it's time to turn the air back on because that 79 for tomorrow with the showers and storms will be very muggy. And as you can see, not much in the way of wind up to 85 on Wednesday with a lesser chance of storms before they come right back on Thursday. High of 83. We start to work the showers out of the picture on Friday 81 and David the weekends looking fantastic staying in the 80s. Plenty of sun and low humidity returning.